Question 5 asks us to find the required sample size. So we're looking for n. And when we have a confidence interval for a proportion, the formula is z alpha over 2 squared times p times 1 minus p over the margin of error squared. Okay, so it looks like we need to solve for z alpha over 2, the margin of error, and p. So first I'll start with the z alpha over 2. Alpha is how not confident I am. In a 98% conf confidence interval, I am 2% not confident. That means my alpha over 2 is a 0 0.01. And then z.01 is inverse norm of 1 minus 0 0.01 which is a 2.326. Okay, so I needed to find my z value. The p that I use, when I have a proportion in mind that I'm going to use for planning purposes, that's going to be my p. So using 30% for planning purposes means p is going to be 0.3. So that's the 30%. And the last part of the formula that I need before I plug in is the desired margin of error. So when I read the question carefully, it says I want to estimate within 0.02. The margin of error usually is going to be what follows the word within. Okay, so the margin of error is 0 0.02. So if I plug this into my equation, I get a 2.326 squared times p, which is 0.3, times 1 minus p, 1 minus 0.3 is 0.7, divided by the margin of error, 0 0.02 squared. And when I enter all of that into a calculator, I get 2,840 0.4. So I always answer as a whole number and I always round up. So this means my answer should be 2,841. Okay, note that if you rounded this number a little bit differently, if you say kept four, um, four decimal places or five decimal places, your answer might be a little bit different. So if you kept more decimals for the z alpha over 2, you might have actually gotten 2,842 as your final answer.